What is going on guys, it is your boy Tech here, back again with another video, and today I have some huge news on Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers. Now, this scan was just released a few hours ago, um, I am on ShonenGames.com today, I'll make sure I post the link down in the description box below so you guys can check out this scan too afterwards, but before we get into the scan itself, First, let me read the summary. Now, it says this month's V Jump has brought us a new scan from Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers. Of course, yeah, we know that. This scan tells you. This scan tells you. Sorry about that. This scan tells you that you'll be able to inherit and learn jutsu from different ninja. Naruto himself can teach you the Chaudama Rasengan, which is the giant Rasengan, as you can see from that picture up there, which has been passed down to him from Jiraiya. You can expect to learn jutsu from seven different from several different ninja at the Konoha Ninja Ninjutsu Resource Center. Sorry, I can't read today, guys. Here you'll be able to become an apprentice to a legendary shinobi and get your hands on their amazing jutsu. This looks like how it works similarly to how training under a fighter in Xenoverse works. However, we won't know for sure until the game launches. Check out the scan below, which we will do right now. Now, as you guys can see, this scan is really tiny if you're watching this in the video. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to zoom into the parts we're talking about. So let's take it from the top. The first part of the scan right here. Aim for the... Hold on. Aim for the top of the ninja world, the heroes. Now over here it says, learn from your favorite uh, shinobi, conquer the Ninkai leagues. And if I'm not mistaken, Naruto has created a league for shinobi to fight in, uh, for ninja to fight in. So I'm not sure if that's going to be the gist of the story or if they're going to incorporate that into some kind of online mode, which I think would be super dope if um, they had Ninkai League, if that was an online mode and you could uh, rank up in it. If you could rank up in it, you could become the top of the league or things like that, kind of like uh, leaderboards and rank match and stuff like that. That would be hella dope. I'm not too sure what they're going to do with that, though. I'm sure we'll learn more about it as the year goes by, though. So let's come down here. And this is where this is where stuff gets hella dope, man. It says, OK. Number one, number one scan says, choose your instructor. Become an apprentice at Konoha's Ninjutsu Resource Center and learn from Legendary Shinobi. You'll learn different abilities depending on your instructor. And I'm going to zoom out right here, guys, uh, after I talk about this scan in particular. Um, so right here beside Sasuke, it has, I'm guessing, this is the nin Ninjutsu Resource Center. So I'm guessing these are the Ninjutsus right here. Or are these quests? I don't know if these are Ninjutsu or quests for a ninjutsu and it has uh i'm assuming these are completion percentages right here but for all we know this could be the level of the ninjutsu this could be completion percentage uh this could be your grade for that mission if it is a mission or whatever we have no idea what that is yet guys but uh here's where i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to zoom in right here hold on let me just point something now okay if these are jutsu right here and this is sasuke sasuke is this person's mentor and if these are jutsus then i want to draw attention to this really quick if that is a created character, which I don't know if it is, because I that looks kind of like Kakashi's double Sharingan uh, Susano. So, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say it is a created character. Now, if this is a created character right here, right here, guys, that Naruto is about to uh, jump on him. If that's a created character, and you can give him that by uh, being an apprentice under Sasuke, I'm assuming you have to give your created character a Sharingan and everything like that. I'm assuming this one of these is a Susano. If that is true, guys, that is dope as hell. Like, I, I cannot wait. If that if that is a creative character, I cannot wait, guys. But right here, in the second scan, it says, Train through battles and missions. Once you're an apprentice, you can start doing battles and missions. Level up, level up your rank and learn more skills. Now, I'm assuming that means that... Well, obviously, it means that you have to level up and rank to uh, learn more skills, which is kind of obvious because you can't just jump right into the game and just do all these missions to get all these different skills. And you're like level five, rank five or something like that. So, of course, they're going to incorporate that. Um, so I'm guessing you have to be an apprentice to pretty much do anything, do any kind of battles or missions or anything like that, which is also a pretty you know smart concept, too. So I'm not mad at that either. Um, so obviously my mentor is going to be sasuke if i can help it at first but are they going to have different mentors for like different character type that is something to consider too guys are they going to have different mentors for different character types or maybe they're going to make you create different characters like xenoverse does but i hope they don't do the thing that xenoverse did which is when you create a new character you have to go through the whole story mode all over again now this is the important part down here guys um this scan right here is just the created character in sage mode i'm pretty sure he's in sage mode i can see the red around his eyes and he's just holding up the giant rasengan i like this animation though with the two clones around him kind of charging up the rasengan it looks like they're charging up a spirit bomb to be honest but let's go down here this is the important part down here guys 
Closed beta test submission now open. Check the official site for more info. So, obviously this means that the closed beta signups are going to happen really soon, guys. And when they are announced for us, I will make sure to get that to you guys. I myself cannot wait for this beta as well. I mean, the Fighters beta has been phenomenal, guys. Fighters has been phenomenal. I can't wait for Session 3 to come out. I cannot wait, guys. Today has just been a crazy day for anime just in general. I mean, we had Dokkan news today. Huge Dokkan news. We had Xenoverse 2 news, which I need to make a video on ASAP. We had Fighters news, the Fighters beta. Now we have Shinobi Striker news. Today has been crazy for Bandai, guys. Today has been crazy for Bandai. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned anything new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. Like I said, guys, I'll be sure to plug this link down in the description box below so you can check out the scan for yourself. Be sure to hit that like button. It's the easiest way to share the video around. It only takes one click. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.